Well, this came out of complete nowhere. So a few hours after I woke up, I went on YouTube and found this. Now, just to give a little context behind this, Super Mario Bros. X hasn't had another update since 2020. That's four freaking years ago. Now, I have no idea why it took so long for an update to come out, but honestly, I am very, very excited for this. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what we can expect to see in the trailer and what I'm hoping to see in the trailer. Now, to start things off, let's talk about some new enemies and other NPCs. Now, by taking a look at the thumbnail, we can see a lot going on here. Over on the left, we can see Spike, the ball and chain from Mario World, a numbered platform from Yoshi's Island, the flagpole from Super Mario Bros, claw grip from Super Mario Bros 2, and a snowball from Super Mario Maker 2. And if you look a bit closer to the middle, you can just barely see one of those egg spitting flowers from Yoshi's Island. Now over on the right, you can see a miniature version of one of those ghost bumpers called Boompers, as well as a square variation of it. You can also see the gold orb from Super Mario World, a burner from Super Mario Maker, a trampoline from Super Mario Bros, a red version of the POW block, and a four-sided burner, as well as a twister from Mario Maker 2. There's also this sign over here, and I don't quite see who's on it, but it kind of looks like a Lakitu dressed as Mario. And last but not least, we can see the icicles from Mario Maker 2 up on the top. Now onto my thoughts and feelings. I am really hoping we can get some more Yoshi's Island NPCs, because I'm working on a Yoshi's Island game called Yoshi's New Island on Ride, for those who didn't know. And considering the fact that two Yoshi's Island NPCs were shown off in the thumbnail, I have some pretty high hopes. I'm also glad to see we're getting some new Mario World NPCs seeing that ball and chain. I'm really hoping that's not all we get from it, because I would really like to see some new Mario World stuffs. Now when it comes to new blocks, there doesn't really seem to be much shown in the thumbnail. I mean, all we really get is just some new airship pieces. So I'm not really expecting much in terms of, well, blocks. As for the backgrounds though, you can clearly see that in the thumbnail, the background is completely brand new. I mean, it is very similar to one of the other backgrounds in the game, it just looks a bit more reddish. So we're definitely going to be seeing some new backgrounds in this update. A background that I'm really hoping makes it is the bonus background from Super Mario Bros and Super Mario All-Stars. Although I'm not exactly sure what to expect outside of the thumbnail for the trailer. But one thing's for sure, it is gonna be awesome. I don't know about you, but I am really excited for this trailer. If you want, you can put your thoughts down below in the comments. But I think that'll do it for this video. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will be seeing you later.